Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video, East Coast Manga. So, today, as you can tell by the title, um, this is definitely a very, very, very controversial topic. Something that a lot of uh, manga tubers don't like to talk about. Or if they do, they definitely don't usually, I mean, maybe there has been some, I'm not sure. Uh, but they don't usually put this topic into its own video. Uh, if they do talk, talk about this topic, it'll usually be either in a live stream or, you know, maybe slightly mentioning it uh, in another video, or maybe they're just like talking about it on Twitter or something. But their opinions on this topic, which is manga scans and illegal manga scans, well, I mean, they're all technically illegal. And to define manga scans real quick, uh, it's basically if the manga has already been translated to English, uh, it's basically people just, I mean, as it sounds, scanning the pages and putting them into like a PDF format and uh, basically publishing them on websites or a website to where you're able to read them. Usually there's like ads all around it, although you can use ad blocker. But for the most part, those people are making money off of the ads that are being shown on the website. Now, if a manga isn't translated, it's the person translating or people translating the manga and then doing that same thing, scanning it and uh, putting it online with a bunch of ads around it. But this is a pretty heavily avoided topic. So I have a pretty similar opinion on this topic that a lot of manga tubers and a lot of people who uh, read manga have, but it's not a opinion that a lot of people like putting out there. So I did a poll on Instagram just to see, you know, what people thought about me making this video, and it was overwhelmingly yes. Uh, it was 40 something to seven no's. And if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at East Coast Manga. Uh, much more active on there than I am on Twitter. And there you could also have the possibility of being, you know, basically a part of a video, because uh, this video wouldn't have gone up if I got an overwhelmingly no vote. But basically I've split this uh, video up into like three or four different sections, uh, because I know there's a lot of different sections to talk about when there comes to uh, manga scans. First section, which is manga scans of uh, in-print manga. So, you know, like shonen titles or stuff that's still in print that you can still buy from Viz or Yen Press or, you know, basically any, any company that sells manga. You can still buy it physically or digitally. The next topic is going to be out of print manga and specifically very expensive out of print manga and scans of those. Uh, next section is manga that has never been printed in English. And then there are kind of two subdivisions of manga that will probably never be printed in English for various reasons, and then manga that may be printed in English. And then the last section, which I might just throw into one of these, is uh, self-printed manga and kind of my opinions on that and where I kind of see that fitting into these categories. So first category is in-print manga and scans of that, which are obviously illegal. I mean, all these are technically illegal, so what's my opinion on that? Personally, if a manga is in print and you're able to buy it physically or buy it digitally, I 100% recommend going that way. Um, nowhere throughout this video am I going to basically advertise reading scans. Like, you're gonna do what you wanna do at the end of the day, but this video is more so for educational purposes than to obviously adver advertise that. So if a manga is in print, then that means that the company has the ability to, uh, you know, pay the mangaka if you buy a manga through them. So by reading scans and not buying any of the manga, uh, you are technically hurting the mangaka, you're taking money from the mangaka. And also, sorry to, you know, keep bringing this up, but uh, later when I talk about the self-printing, I will also try to remember to talk about buying used manga and how I feel like that also kind of fits into this a little bit. So I know a lot of people have, you know, excuse that, you know, manga is too expensive or, you know, they just don't have the room for it. Well, if a company is selling it digitally, it's usually a lot cheaper or at least somewhat cheaper than physically. Um, so I personally would recommend going at least the digital route in terms of, you know, maybe buying a Shonen Jump subscription uh, on the app or like a, I think Viz has like some kind of option like that too. So personally, I would not recommend ever reading scans of a manga that's in print currently now. You know, if maybe you want to read like the first couple chapters just to see whether you think whether you're going to like the series or not and then end up buying the series, uh, I have no issue with that. I mean, you can kind of do that on the Viz app or the Shonen Jump app too, uh, depending if the, the first couple chapters are uh, available, are available, which I believe a lot of websites they are available, but that's my opinion on that. So next category, we have out of print and super expensive manga. So uh, in this category, we have like No Longer Human, uh, we have Battle Royale, we have, I mean, there, there's a huge number of series that anyone can talk about. Um, you know, Gantz before the omnibuses were, re were released, uh, you know, like that series, the singles are going for like $1,500. So in my opinion, a series like 
uh, you know, No Longer Human or Battle Royale. I'm gonna be honest with you, both of those series I ended up reading the scans for because first of all Battle Royale, as some of you guys know, was the first manga that really got me into manga. Uh, I probably wouldn't even be where I am at currently with all this manga if I didn't, uh, if I didn't read that online. And honestly, I just don't want to spend hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on, you know, as, as aftermarket to buy the series. I mean, it, even if I do pay all that money, that's not helping to promote the industry. That's not helping the industry. Like that money, like none of that money is going to the mangaka or the manga printing company. That's just going to someone who's selling it on eBay. So if we want to talk about manga scans, you know, we can also talk about, you know, buying used manga. Like I buy a ton of used manga and that's because I usually get it for a really, really good price. But within doing that, it's not supporting the industry. Uh, and I'm well aware of that. But when resellers or people who sell manga aftermarket price it ridiculously high and sometimes even a hundred or multiple hundred hundreds of dollars per volume uh, what do people expect and then for example a series like no longer human which each book there's only three volumes and each volume goes for over a hundred dollars you're paying over three hundred dollars for three volumes of manga that is just sick I have no issue with people reading scans for that because in my opinion, and this will go into the next topic too, if these series were to ever be republished or reprinted, me personally, I would go out and get these series, even if I've read them, even if I read them through scans. And I don't know if that's the same with everybody, but that's how I would look at it, that's how I recommend looking at it, that's that's kind of my basis for if I'm reading scans. And if a series, and if a, if a publishing company is so upset about people reading scans and making money off of the ad revenue, then they would just reprint the manga and they would make money off of the retail. Whether you put it in a hardcover or just regular or just singles or omnibuses, it doesn't matter. So the next category, which is kind of similar to me with out of print manga, is manga that's not printed in English. So first of all, if I am a publishing company, a manga publishing company, or I am a mangaka, I personally, this is how I feel, I personally cannot get upset about people who create scans and do their own translations and put out manga that is in English. And why I say that is because you have the opportunity to do that. Now I understand it takes time and manpower and some money to translate from Japanese to English, but if a publishing company or a mangaka has made no attempt, um, you know, let's say Kingdom, for example, made no attempt to publish in English or announce their publishing in English or anything like that at any point, basically. I personally feel like, and once again, this is my opinion, that a publishing company cannot get mad when they have put no effort towards trying to do so. Like, for example, a series like Kingdom, there's no timetable to when this series is gonna be published in English. No one knows. There's a bunch of other series that are in Japanese that may never get published, you know, English publishings, and I know you don't have to read manga and you, you don't have to do anything. But when you hear about a series being so good in Japanese and you just want to read it, like, I, I don't feel bad for companies and mangakas when people read scans that are translated. That's just how I feel. Now, once again, if a series is probably going to be translated, like Kingdom, you would hope it's going to be translated, but it's already been so, like, it's already been such a popular manga and it hasn't been translated yet, it just doesn't make sense. But with other series where you're like, all right, you know, this is probably going to be published, you know, obviously the right thing to do is to wait. Uh, but then there's also series where you know it's never going to be published, or you know it's almost probably never going to be published. A series like, um, you know, my video I made the other day was Zatch Bell. There are 33 Japanese volumes and the anime got cut short and the English releases got cut short. Uh, there's only 25 published in English and they stopped a while ago. They're not going to continue it, at least in my opinion. I don't think they're going to continue it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to read 1 through 25 and then try to find scans of 25 through 33. I'm not going to just sit around and twiddle my thumbs and hope that one day Viz is going to publish more manga for a series that never really blew up like a Pokemon or a Yu-Gi-Oh or, you know, any other 
series in that in that you know time frame. And then last kind of category I want to mention is uh, self printed books, self printed manga specifically. So. There's this uh, new thing, I mean not new thing, new to me, which I've heard about is self-printed manga. This, uh, you know, people who uh, print out scans and, uh, or, you know, make scans, print them out, and bind them and put them into, like, manga volumes. With series that have never been published in English, I think, obviously it's illegal, and morality is, it kind of depends on your morality and how you feel about this, but I feel like this would almost gain traction enough for a publishing company to be like, wow, people would buy this, so let's print it. Uh, but the problem G made a video, and actually him and Lohali, if you want to check out uh, Lohali's video with Prom G, uh, he uploaded that just a couple days ago when this video was uploaded. And they do talk about this, they talk about uh, scans and self-printing manga and stuff like that. Similar opinion to mine, but personally, I think self-printed manga is actually pretty cool for manga that has never been printed in English. Now, once again, my philosophy is I would buy it to read it because I like reading physical, but if they were to ever release it, I would move on to that one because those would be higher quality and it would not only support the manga cut but also the publishing company. So honestly, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Probably going to be a bunch of dislikes because people don't like hearing about the truth, but I share the same opinion as a lot of other manga tubers. Um, there are obviously manga tubers who don't share this opinion at all, they hate everything about scans and they would never read one, uh, but there are definitely manga tubers who are probably reading scans right now as this video is uploading. Now personally, present day, uh, I have not read a manga scan since Battle Royale and since uh, No Longer Human, which was towards the beginning of uh, my manga collecting, so this was about last August last August slash September. And that's just because I have so much manga and um, I have access to it um, that I'm able to read it physically, not a problem. So I just wanna leave you guys with one more kind of last idea. A series like Zatch Bell. It's a out of print, probably never gonna be printed again, uh, Shonen Jump series. So what's the difference between reading volume one through 25 on a scan online with ad blocker on versus buying that series used from some random seller on eBay and reading it physically. Other than reading it digitally and physically, what is the difference? That's what I'm gonna leave with you guys. So that's be it for this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.